what is up guys and welcome back to nugan plus this is the second video of the day and in this video i'm going to show you how to install the psp emulator and also how to update the emulator if there's any update available so this uh, and this is basically this uh it's one of the easiest things that you could do especially if you already have also installed so make sure you have also installed if you haven't already i'm gonna have a link down below in the video description as well as a notification taking you to one of my videos on how to install all store on your computer just make sure you watch the video all the way through to at least four minutes that's when i'm showing you how to install all store on your computer so there's two ways that you could do this uh, one of the easiest way is when you already have installed all store and you had the source to uh you have the source or the psp emulator inside here if you do not have it here you won't be able to find it um on here so if you already have it you just basically go to browse and then you and you click on search and you type for the psp emulator but since i don't have the source that's why it's not showing up here so the other way to do this is basically going to the emulator page so we're gonna just go here we're gonna go to the website i'm gonna leave it also down below in the description we're gonna go to download and after we go to download let me just close all this advertisement we're gonna go down and we're gonna oh my god there's a bunch of advertisement here take this out of here come on get out of here i can't take it off nope can't click off the advertisement jesus christ so we're gonna look for the version for ios which is right here ppsspp for ios we're gonna go to download the latest api so we're gonna go for the api we're gonna click on here we're gonna click on download it's gonna take us to this page right here and make sure you select the ipi that's the version that we want to be using and right here this is the latest version version 1.13 1b so we're gonna click in here and it's gonna start asking for the download we, we're gonna click on download so after we click on download we have all of this installed make sure your all server is running on your computer and then you go back to all store inside our all store you're gonna go to which says my apps inside my apps you're gonna click what it says right here in the top left corner the plus sign when i click on that plus sign and it should open in your uh recent files is showing like this you're gonna have it right here on the re recent so you're gonna go to full uh, browse and you're gonna go to your download folder and you're gonna look for the file so to install it you basically click on it and it will install the installation so the reason i'm gonna doing this is because i already have it installed so i don't need to do that step that is to install it if you don't have it in your and your device and also to upgrade to the latest version you're running an older version you basically grab the same file the same process you're clicking here plus sign click on this file and install and it's basically going to be upgrading the file that's already installed so you would like to do this because you don't want to be deleting the app every single time because you have a limited of uh, app ids remaining and you're using a free account so you have like around 10 and if you deplete those uh remaining ids you won't be able to register any more apps and only three apps at the same time could be activated right now i'm using a free version i don't have my developer version because it's probably i need to renew so that's why you see this amount you now in the other hand if you have a developer version you can install unlimited amount of apps and they expire right here every 365 days every year so that's why you see some of my apps says 355 because this this is the last app that i installed with my developer account and i just basically just updated the app so that's why it says this amount of dates so when you see this like this that means that you won't be able to use it soon so after your app is installed, we're just gonna look for play. I mean, uh, the PSP emulator. There we go, we're gonna go here, we're gonna open it up. It's inactive right now because I'm running out of space, so I need to activate my emulator again. So let me go ahead and here and activate it. Hopefully it doesn't give me an error. I still have a bunch of app IDs available. So let's see if it's activating. So in most of you guys cases right here, uh, this is a good example. I'm using a free account. And remember I told you you can only have three apps after the same time. So that's why when I click on 
on the PSP emulator, he asked me that I, to please deactivate one of the apps because again, since you're using a free version, you can only have up to three apps at the same time. Uh, this here takes a while to activate. Sometimes it does a fast and sometimes it's just a it's straight up it takes a while to do this. So it's telling it's trying to deactivate one of my apps. So let me see if I could run the emulator again. I'm probably gonna ask me to send me the same message because it's not finished yet. Refresh, I'll store it, continue using it. No, I still cannot use it. Still doing the whole process of deactivating. So let me see if I could refresh it now. And let me double check that my also service is actually running properly on my computer. Let me go on second. Let me double check. Uh, yes, it is running. It's just, let me see. Yes, it's running. Perfect. Yeah, it is actually running. Is detecting my iPad. Yes, it's showing it up here. Well, that probably got to be it because I have a couple of different accounts synchronizing here. But yeah, that's um, well, that's usually the way how you install the apps and uh, you update the apps as well. So now that this is um, doing this, let me see if I could just go back and deactivate it manually again. Let's go ahead and click here. No, I can't do anything else. So let me go on airplane mode, activate it again. So it could interrupt that setup real quick. And no, it's still doing the whole process. So I will have to wait for that process to be finished unless I manually cancel it. Let's go back here. Let's click on close app. Let's close it and let's try that again. My apps. Let me see if I could deactivate it. It doesn't let me deactivate it. Let me just activate this one instead. Yes, do that. Let's. Well, I will have to apologize right here, but this is actually how you install and update it. Right now, it's giving me an error because it's apparently I run out of all my licenses, so I can't finish the process here and I can't even open the emulator. But this is actually how you install and update the emulator. You can see some previous videos that I have on my channel running some of the emulators. And um, once again, I follow yes for that because I got away a couple of days before I could actually use my other licenses to be able to run the emulator. So if this video was helpful, uh, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also, again, I apologize for this and I'll see you guys in the next one.